Hey guys, it's Megan. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Charlotte Mason morning basket and morning menu and how you can put yours together to help start your day off right. If you're new here, we are a homeschool family of nine. My two oldest boys actually are no longer living with us, but I do have five little ones in the home still. And we have been homeschooling since about 2017. We've tried many different programs over the years, such as Sunlight, My Father's World, and then we did unschooling. Those things really worked for us and I still felt very stressed out and my home felt very chaotic. And so I started doing research into the Charlotte Mason method of homeschooling, uh, which I had looked at before, but just never really dove in too seriously. And I just absolutely fell in love with Charlotte's beliefs about education everything that she says just makes so much sense. What I really loved the most about it, and there's a lot of things that I do like about it, which I can go over in another video, but what I really love the most is the focus on the child as a whole, character development, information, and the focus on good habits. Because it just makes sense if everybody develops a good habit, then you will have smooth and easy days as Charlotte says. One of the ways to create a peaceful atmosphere and to develop good character is to start your mornings off right with a morning basket. This is ours, which I just put together and we're going to be going over what I put in here today. And I want to say that there's no right or wrong way to do this. Um, I would just recommend doing some research and see what different types of things that people put into their basket. The whole idea is that you're starting your day off with things that are peaceful activities and that are good and beautiful to really get our minds in the right place. I've seen ones that have um, puzzles and different types of games in them and copy work and all, all kinds of different things. So just know that there is no right or wrong, or wrong way to do this. Just do some research and find out what works, what you think would work best for you. You can make one for each uh, individual child and, um, and do it that way if you want to. Um, I'm not doing that right now because we're literally just starting out but maybe eventually we will do that. But I look at this as a good way for us to all come together as a family and do some things together. So the first thing that we have in here is the Catholic Youth Bible. At night, we sit down together as a family and we're going through one chapter of the Bible a day and one proverb per day. Um, but I'm gonna, I'll show again, I will show you how I'm using this in a minute, but uh, for a quiet activity, my oldest son that is here actually likes to just read the Bible sometimes. And if you are Catholic and looking for a good Bible for your kids, I have a book called Favorite Poems Old and New because poetry is integral, is integral, inter integral, integral to the Charlotte Ma Mason method of homeschooling. The next thing that we have in here is our Charlotte Mason history book and basically for history we use the Bible and living books and I absolutely love this um, because if you know me um, you know I'm a little bit skeptical about the history that is taught in um, schools, but one history that I know I can trust is the Bible. And this is something that is done for the whole, like you can do together as a, as a family. And so this is from Gen Genesis to Deuteronomy in ancient Egypt. It also comes with a list of books that you're going to need for the year to, to do this. And it tells you where to find these books. It has a daily schedule that you can use. So every day you're going to read the Bible and then a living book. So right now we're just starting this book called Visits to Africa. And then there's another book that we're waiting to get here and that should be here in just a couple of days. And so that will also go in here. 
It also has different book recommendations for higher grades if you want to supplement like grades 7 through 9 or grades 10 through 12 um, to give the older kids a little bit more to do. I really, really love that this can be done together as a family and that it's using the Bible as a history book. The next thing that we have in here are our nature journals and nature journals and nature studies are absolutely huge um, in Charlotte Mason really um, for the purpose of getting children to really see the diversity and beauty of God's creation and um, really getting them to love and appreciate God's creation. And um, so this one is one that I actually made. And so they can do this in the mornings if they want to after we've done our family stuff first. They have a page to sketch what they see or paint what they see if they want to. And then it has the date, time, location, weather for the day, and an applicable Bible verse or a hymn quote. And then what they saw, what they felt, what they heard, and what they smelled. Again, just to really appreciate all the different things in nature. Um, and to help them also become observant and pay attention to, to detail with all of these things. And I forget how she explains it, but once when they start to pay attention to detail with one thing, then it, that thing, then it will carry over in other areas of their life. And then I have a couple of coloring books in here for the littler kids, some crayons, I have Esther's favorite book in here. And of course she doesn't have to use this book, but this is the one that she loves the most. And then I have called 50 things every young gentleman should know. And we're reading this aloud together as a family for my older boys who are 10 and nine right now. Also, I make the, the younger kids listen too because I think it's good for my four-year-old boy to hear these things. And then also I think it's important for Ava and Esther, even as girls, to know how a gentleman should act. We're going through this right now. And then we have our morning menus. Again, there's a lot of different variations of the morning menus. There are different themed ones that you can get. There's all sorts of different things that you can put in here. Like there's no right or wrong answer. I just kind of took some ideas that I really liked and then um, made them our own for our curriculum because we do do the Catholic version of Charlotte Mason. We have the month uh, on the cover here, March, the month of St. Joseph. And then on the second page, we have Charlotte Mason's motto, which is I am, I can, I ought, and I will. And I'm not sure if I'm going to change this every month. I will at least change the picture. This says, I am a child of the most high God created with purpose in his image. I can do hard things because Christ strengthens me. I ought to always obey God, obey my parents, and love and serve others. And I will do what is right, even when it is hard. My son, Michael, who's my, um, uh, he's very strong-willed. And if he doesn't want to do something, it can be a real battle to do it. And so he was not wanting to sit down and like follow along. He's like, why do I have to do this? And I said to him, because, you know, we're working on developing our character and um, developing our will. And even if you don't realize it, when you say these things over and over and over again to yourself, it will sink, it will sink into you and become part of who you are. And these things, as we're building our child's character and forming them are really important things for them to know because the world is going to try to bombard them, telling them that they're not enough or that they um, are not important or whatever the, the the negative thing is that brings so many people down today to where we have rampant mental uh, um, illness and people on all kinds of medications. Like I want my kids to know who they are in Christ. And so repeating these things every day, I am praying will really sink into them and they will know um, that they are valuable and that they are created in God's image and that they can do whatever 
they want to do that is hard spiritually um, and, I, and I really do emphasize that to them um, through Christ. So there's that. And then we have our March poetry and we are repeating these ones every day. And most of these menus that I have seen do have the Charlotte Mason motto. They have the poetry, they have a hymn, and then they have scripture memory and then the other pages can vary. Um, so I'm doing a saint of the month for ours. This month is St. Patrick because it's March. And then we're doing a prayer of the month. This month is the breastplate of St. Patrick. We are doing a hymn. This one is a Lenten hymn called Lord Jesus, Think on Me. So we're listening to this every day and reading the words of the hymn as well. We are doing the scripture memory. Believe it or not, Catholics do read their Bibles or they should read their Bibles anyway. I want my kids to know the scriptures and be able to give a defense for why they believe what they believe. And so, yes, even as Catholics, we are doing the scripture memory. And then we are doing art study. So this month, our art study is Claude Monet. And art study is also a huge part of the Charlotte Mason method. Again, this is another way for them to learn to pay attention to detail. And so it comes with some prompting questions for them, which I think might be important for younger ones especially if they're just starting out with this it's not something that you have to do what she uh, advises is that you have the kids look at the picture for like five minutes or so and then put the picture down and ask them what they remember about the picture but what we did is we went through the prompts and then i let the kids paint it and then next week we'll probably do that again and then i'll have them repaint it again and then the last two weeks of the month, we'll do it without the prompting and see what they can remember from the picture. But I think that you do one artist per term. And so next month in the month after, we'll just do some different pictures of Claude Monet, or you can change your pictures up every week, however you wanna do it. Like I said, there's no right or wrong answer to, to doing this. And so that is our morning basket. I know that there's typically a lot of questions about homeschooling. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. And if you already do a morning basket or a morning menu, let me know in the comments what you have going on in yours that will maybe help and inspire some other people who are reading through the comments. That's all for today. I pray that you are all doing absolutely amazing and having a very blessed Lent. God bless you until next time. Bye bye. Lord Jesus, think on me that when this life is past, I may the eternal brightness see and share thy joy.